Hey, good day. I've set the camera up here in front of the computer screen so I can show you a couple of things that you can click on yourself and find and check. Here's the ABC showing us a Bureau of Meteorology weather map with a big hot spot. I remember where that is. Telling us that Will Stefan and his Climate Council of Australia, independently funded they point out, have figured out that uh, a record heat wave would be virtually impossible without climate change. That's, that's very clever. It shows signs of intelligence. It, it um, possibly wouldn't dawn on everybody that uh, not every year is exactly the same. So the 1877 drought would also be virtually impossible without climate change. Who knows what caused it. This is about heat waves, and if you want to know more about heat waves in Australia, I suggest you search Jeff with a G, Sherrington. I'll be talking about the maps. Apparently this photo has something to do with 123 temperature records being broken. Well, with all of the different places that temperatures are recorded across Australia at various times of the day, etc., 123 is a pretty small amount. You would expect that if we're going through serious climate change, there'd be a lot more than that. What I'm more interested in is the accuracy of these maps. And I set the camera in front so you can see it as well. To get to the maps, we can click down here on Climate Data Online from the Bureau's homepage there. Click on the maps of recent conditions here. And here we've got lots of choices. We'll click on the temperature. And this is showing us recent conditions, mean maximum. We can select a whole lot of different uh, things here. There's the highest maximum. We can look at a week or a day or a month. But if we want to go back in time, we have to click on the archive. Now let's go back and have a look at 1925. And we'll start looking at November in 1925. Highest maximum temperature. This is the hottest it got in that month. It's between 30 and 33 degrees C. Now let's look at the mean maximum temperature for that month. And we find the ridiculous situation. These jokers must be laughing that people swallow this rubbish. 39 to 36 degrees C. So the mean, they're telling us, is higher than the highest. Absolutely ridiculous. They must be laughing their guts out at the fact that people swallow this crap. Let's have another look around. This is the maximum anomaly. This area here is more than 6 degrees C hotter on average for that month compared to the long-term average. Well, so they say, but if you look at the daily maps, this line here is that point there, zero degree C, and that is that spot. So the 12th was not that hot. But let's check every day because to get that plus six, it only takes one really hot day, but it would have to be incredibly hot to shift the average up that high. We'll just click on later here, go through the days, and we quickly see that that zero line is there on that spot nearly every one of these days. The daily maps just don't add up the total we see on the monthly maps. This is not real data, it's fake. Here we're getting colder, not hotter. 
that would leave the remaining few days in the month incredibly hot. But they don't get hot. This map simply contradicts the other map. And it's wrong. They're giving us junk. Total junk. That's it. November is gone. Check out the next video. There's more.